Hey everybody, it's Trash. It is the Sunday before Christmas weekend, so I forgot the date because I haven't looked at the calendar in freaking forever. Uh, <laughs> so I'd finished up the Westerners, that's these guys here in the front. Uh, finally, 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 thank God I can quit annoying you people. Uh, I've gotten all the starters done. Um, so I've got like, that is every single starter that you're going to see when Hell Dorado ships out either later this month or next month. Um, I've not gotten actual word from Cypher Studios on like when they're going to be shipping the distribution so you can know your local store owner. Um, but I've got them done. So um, I just wanted to take a look uh, in case anybody new has no idea what you're talking about. So this is Hell Dorado. This is going to be like a new little skirmish game. Think of like the scale of Malifaux Infinity. Uh, something where your whole army is going to be around like five to maybe five to ten uh, individual models rather than, you know, ten models in a squad or, you know, uh, 40 models in a block or whatever. It's going to be skirmish based. Um, basically, uh, what we're going to be looking at is like the time set makes you want to think of like the Crusades, the stuff like that historically. Uh, this isn't going to be like a historical battles game. Uh, it's going to be more fantasy based, but around that time frame. So, um, a large chasm um, opened up. Uh, the chasm led to hell. There's some really weird things down there. People, humans being what they are, really inquisitive, so they decided they'd go down there. So, that's where these guys, these are the Westerners faction. Um, that what they are in the starter box set, uh, you're going to get like three gunners, a uh, sergeant who makes all the gunners reload real quick, and then you've got the leader of that guy. So it's going to be a very shooty starter. Um, that's they got a real their paint schemes look really European, really uh, uh, Spanish uh, uh, conquistador looking sort of thing. So um, really gun line centric. Um, they go down, they find all kinds of weird things. There's your and um, there is a big religious influence on these, so these are going to be your Catholics. The reason they did the religious influence because there's going to be spells and abilities that tr target people's faith. You know, the Satanists can, you know, we're going to play, you know, we're going to cause you damage based on your faith characteristic. And obviously it's going to work more on like a faith characteristic model rather than an agnostic character. Um, yeah, the table is crazy shaky. I've got the cam set up in a precarious position. Uh, you've got your your demons, and these are your Denzians of Hell, um, led by fallen angels and stuff like that. Uh, they're going to be your Satanists. They're basically they're going to be from th the way this uh, is going to be. This starter is set up with two of these demons that are just pretty much they've got like sixteen to twenty wounds apiece. Uh, your your fallen angel is basically just going to act as a uh, a regen totem. Uh, you're going to have and she will also cast these little. Uh, voodoo doll looking things they're called lemurs um if i think that's how they pronounce them and uh they go and basically cast the spells for her while she's concentrating on keeping everything and then you've got your uh your glass hammers which are these uh these guys there uh they're the late native densians and you know there's satanist faction okay and then so there's the break off of that that's the lost faction those were the former demons that just rejected the whole hey we're we were tired of being under your rule. We're tired of taking it from the man. We're going to go off and do our own thing. And they become the lost. And um, that's what they're known as in the game. And they're pretty much all crazy, crazy beat sticks. Uh, individually, these things, you know, uh, they're mainly melee monsters. Um, very, very fast. Very, very uh, melee heavy. Um, and they also have some little ranged weapons from... Uh, these little, I can't remember what these calls. If any of you people are uh, Xena Warrior Princess fans, tell me what these little circular blade things are called because I can't remember. Um, but yeah, they have a little bit of ranged ability. It's not their strong point. Their strong point is just ripping your freaking uh, spleen out. Uh, then we're going to jump over. Then uh, your Muslim faction that came in from that's going to be the really this really heavily uh, Muslim Middle East faction um, that came in. This starter. Um, is got your leader here, this little master blaster looking dude, and then you've got a little backup genie here. Uh, you've got your pillar of faith and two little tow boys. Um, starter plays out pretty much. Um, you want to keep them in a small concentrated block. 
And uh, while this is your leader, your genie is going to be like your key point for your army. Uh, he's going to be, they do have a lot, of, a lot of synergy going on. If you've ever played Minoth, um, I'm trying to think, I'm not sure of a really 40k synergy, synergistic army where one model, you know, one where this where the whole is greater than the sum of one individual model. Um, I'm not really 40k ish when it comes to like metagame, so. Uh, all I can think of is Minoth because I've got Minoth. Um, but basically, they all as a whole, oh my gosh, they're like, they're so strong. They're one of the, I personally think they're one of the strongest uh, starters you can get. Uh, and some of the models, all the models look fantastic. And then finally, this is actually the newest faction that they've released. It's called the Immortals. Uh, if you're a fan of the Chinese Wuxta films, um, you know, you like a really heavily uh, Asian influence. These are the guys they get. You can see they're all wearing coolie hats. Even their little dog is wearing a coolie hat. They got this little Fu Manchu guy summoning a snake out of a scroll. You know, um, if that's sort of your thing, uh, that's the starter for you. Those guys, uh, they're very odd uh, what they are. These are going to be your glass hammers. This guy and this guy. Uh, this guy is a uh, another little Lemur. Uh, this guy, this guy is going to be your... He's going to be your um, tar pit. He basically sloughs off uh, damage on everybody else and ties your models up. And this guy, um, this guy is just a beast. Uh, he's uh, bloodthirsty. He will rip. He will rip up an army all by himself. But when you add him to other other factions in the army, uh, he uh, gives them all bloodthirsty ability. Makes them crazy zealots. So um, basically, it's really good. This. Uh, this is the the Asians are down there. They're all Buddhists, so they're very heavily influenced, as much as the Muslims are uh, in their respective religions. Uh, but the uh, immortals go down there as Buddhists and trying to find enlightenment in hell. So um, it's all going to be cool um, when it gets released. There's going to be a lot of campaign scenarios coming out. Uh, hopefully, if your local store carries this. Uh, the campaigns are going to be story driven rather than hey let's hold this point for five turns so uh, you're actually going to see a lot of stories going on uh, there should be some really cool things going out for all this but uh, this is Hell Dorado and just for people that wander on I put I always put a quarter in here for scales because people who aren't in our hobbies like oh, what is he painting so that's a quarter so um, that's that um, now it's for people here um, I'm not sure if you want me to do more. Uh, from now, in the next project, I could be working on some Malifaux stuff, Hell Dorado. What do you guys want to see? Uh, just leave a comment down below uh, and uh, let me know what you guys want to see. And uh, I hope you guys also, if I don't put out another video over the holidays, I may be going on holiday break. So as of this video, I've got around 180 subscribers. And I just want to take a moment and wish all of you guys a happy holiday. And thank you so much for supporting me. Um, I want to do a couple of call-outs. Um, yeah, I'm wearing my red painting shirt, so you can see all the paint stains. I want to take this moment at the, at the end of the year uh, just to shout out a couple of people that uh, have really influenced me into either doing the channel or done some things here did really help me out so uh first off there's less from awesome paint job uh speak with less a lot in ventrilo um he's the one that actually encouraged me to start doing videos so uh a shout out to less i thought i'd hate this but actually it turned out to be really really fun and i've learned a lot about uh shooting videos and stuff like that so and i've met a lot of people uh just by doing that video so i guess you know thanks to him uh girl painting always been an influence talk to her in ventrilo she's Helped me a lot in my painting and color theory and stuff like that. So a big shout out to her. Um, let's see. Uh, just the guys in Ventrilo. Cat, thanks for having the Ventrilo up. Uh, Ghost for being a dumbass. Um, Clarky for being Clarky. And um, uh, there's Van. There's so many other people that uh, hang out in the vent that talk to me on a day-to-day -day basis. Skarner. Um, yeah. All those guys... If you guys have not checked out Ventrello, I would really encourage you to do so. You know, there's tons of, not only painting and hobby resources, but there's like gaming resources. Sometimes if you just want to chat about a game, you know, reviews and you want it on the fly, rather than going and researching it, you know, be lazy. Go on Ventrello, check it out. It's awesome. But, um, uh, but yeah, 
that's it. And like I said, if I don't see you guys over the holidays, have a safe holiday. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. And I uh, hope you guys have an awesome new year. Uh, anyway, this is Trash. I'm signing out. And um, peace out. And uh, later.